Hi, this is Paul with American Hydroponics, and we are here with our Thursday Facebook Live, and we've been talking about all kinds of different subjects in about a three-minute setting, just to give you a taste or an overview of some of the important issues you'll deal with as a hydroponic grower. Uh, today we want to talk about EC, electronic conductivity is what that stands for, or electric conductivity. And what EC is important is, uh, why it's important is it measures the amount of fertilizer in your nutrient solution. So if you, if you is too low, your plants will not get enough uh, of what they need to grow. And the growth will be slow, and in fact the leaves will begin to turn yellow, and uh, they, will not, uh, they will not thrive. If your EC is too high, you can actually burn the uh, roots off the plants, and the plants, the same thing, they will not grow as well, and in fact they might start to die. So you want to have the proper EC. Now, some of you might have heard of uh, CF, and that is uh, uh, conductivity factor. Thank you very much. Conductivity factor, that's mostly a measurement. It's exactly the same. It's a factor, it's a tenth of the EC, and that's used mainly in Europe. Uh, some of you might see parts per million, PPM, that is a term that's really going out. Some of the old farmers might use that, but it's a term that's going out of uh, fashion and it's being taken over by uh, EC, or TDS, Total Dissolved Solids. So anyway, EC is what we're gonna talk about because that's most uh, common today. Um, so you have your nutrient solution, and in hydroponics it gets pumped up to the manifold, and it comes down and it uh, waters constantly waters the uh, plants and the plants uh, put out roots and they begin to thrive. These little guys are just uh, two, maybe three weeks old and uh, the solution goes back into the reservoir. It's a circulating solution, but we want to make sure that that solution has the proper amount of fertilizer in it, that water. And the way we do that is through a meter and this measures both pH and EC and the EC is what is uh, what it's measuring is the salinity of the water. We use mineral salts, and uh, they dissolve in the in the water. They're taken up in uh, the minute in the nutrient, the fertilizer in an A and a B, and they're taken up in equal parts into the reservoir. They're dissolved in water, and then that water gets distributed to the plants. And so the EC is measuring the salinity or the dissolved salts in the water. Okay, and that becomes our nutrient solution. So what we want is a nutrient solution for this mixture of crops with an EC of anywhere from 1.2 to 1.3, 1.35, something in that, in that area. Um, and we can tell by our hand of grow line hand meter that it's 1.3. You can see that the EC is 1.3, so it tells me that it is right on. Now, for uh, your propagation, you want that to be a little bit less. Let's see what our propagation is. We want that to come in at about a 0.8, something like this. And that's coming in at a 0.89, a 0.88, something like that. So it's, it's a tad bit high, but not bad. It's looking pretty good. Um, so you want to closely monitor your nutrient water so that the EC uh, stays at the proper level. Right? You don't want it too high, burn the plants. You don't want it too low, they won't get the nutrients they need. If you uh, at all doubt your handheld meter, um, you can of course check it on your uh, uh, environmental controls. You can set those as well. And we are using an auto grow multi here and it plugs into this. This remote sensor goes to our relay box that goes to our uh, uh, display monitor inside. Um, also, you can use a truncheon, and it's a very inexpensive way to test it. You simply put it in the water, stir it around a little bit, and it lights up. It's lighting up between 1.2 and 1.4, so that tells me it's about a 1.3. The way these monitors work is that they have an electrode, and they're just shooting a, a bit of electricity between the two, and they're um, measuring how long it takes. To, from, to get from one electrode to the other. And that tells us how the is in the nutrient. EC, or electric conductivity, and that's measuring the uh, 
the salinity or the concentration of nutrient for your water for your crops. Anyway, that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, of course, you can always get a hold of us at info at amhydro.com. Um, and we hope to see you next week at our monthly webinar. And that's going to be 1 o'clock Thursday the 18th. If you haven't signed up for that, you can go to our website, uh, amhydro.com. Sign up for that. This week, our, uh, our specialist, Joe Schwartz, is going to be talking about sunlight and how that is a hydroponic grower's best friend. So until next week, I'll talk to you later. Thank you.